Based on the direction of controller's response, we can classify them into direct and reverse acting controllers. To do that, we need to understand the process dynamic of the system we want to control. There are some key points we need to remember. Classification is made from controller's point of view. It defines how controller responds to change of process value. It applies for open loop as well as closed loop system. Direct acting controller means that its output has direct correlation with process value. If controller sees that process value increases, it will also increase its output. In the first sample, upstream pressure is regulated by discharge control valve. If controller senses increase of pressure, it will respond by increasing discharge control valve's opening to reduce the pressure back to what set point. In the next sample, discharge pressure is regulated by circulating line control valve. If controller senses increase of pressure, it will respond by increasing circulation control valve's opening to reduce the pressure back to what set point. In the next sample, feed flow is regulated by circulating line control valve. If controller senses increase of flow, it will respond by increasing circulation control valve's opening to reduce the feed flow back to what set point. In the next sample, downstream temperature is regulated by cooler. If controller senses increase of temperature, it will respond by increasing cooling rate to reduce the fluid temperature back to what set point. In the last sample, level is regulated by discharge control valve. If controller senses increase of level, it will respond by increasing discharge control valve's opening to reduce the tank level back to what set point. The next type is reverse acting controller. It means that the output has reciprocal correlation with process value. If controller sees that process value increases, it will reduce its output. In the first sample, downstream pressure is regulated by supply control valve. If controller senses increase of pressure, it will respond by decreasing supply control valve's opening to reduce the pressure back to what set point. In the next sample, flow is regulated by upstream or downstream control valve. If controller senses increase of flow, it will respond by decreasing control valve's opening to reduce the flow back to what set point. The next sample is downstream temperature regulated by heater. If controller senses increase of temperature, it will respond by decreasing heater's power to reduce the temperature back to what set point. The last sample is level regulated by supply control valve. If controller senses increase of level, it will respond by decreasing supply control valve's opening to reduce the tank level back to what set point.